Semiconductor Manufacturer International Corporation, SMIC, received a substantial $1.5 billion in income from American semiconductor design companies who outsourced chip manufacture to SMIC last year, accounting for one-fifth of its overall sales. Executives from the U.S. semiconductor sector gathered in May to celebrate the inauguration of SMIC's headquarters in Irvine, California, and to underscore the company's significance to the sector. Rowan Chen, a Qualcomm executive, made a lighthearted comment in which he suggested that SMIC establish a chip manufacturing facility in the United States. The audience laughed in response to this joked remark. Despite the humor, SMIC is a significant player in the U.S. semiconductor sector, and the Commerce Department authorizes American businesses to work with SMIC, raising questions about the trade-off between national security and commercial relations with China. For China to dominate the semiconductor sector and lessen its dependency on imports, SMIC is essential. SMIC wants to progress, but U.S. regulations make that difficult given that it now manufactures older generation chips and depends on specialized equipment imported from the U.S. These limitations, according to security professionals, are insufficient. They contend that by giving SMIC access to American knowledge and technology, the U.S. unintentionally aids China in acquiring cutting-edge capabilities that the Chinese military may exploit. On the other side, the Biden administration places a strong emphasis on striking a balance between preserving commercial ties and national security concerns. Another banned Chinese company, Huawei Technologies, recently released a smartphone that was supposedly powered by a cutting-edge processor developed by SMIC. Republicans in the House made requests for tougher penalties on SMIC and Huawei in response to this development, which aroused worries. Gina Raimondo, the Secretary of Commerce, expressed shock at this discovery and emphasized the need for further details regarding SMIC's capacity for chip fabrication. Despite being on the blacklist, SMIC has not been completely barred from conducting business with the United States. American businesses can still work with SMIC, but doing so requires a license. The matter has not been addressed by SMIC's clients, including Qualcomm, Silicon Labs, Monolithic Power Systems, and Max Linear. With assistance from Chinese government subsidies, SMIC's business strategy focuses on manufacturing older generation chips with slimmer profit margins. Although its U.S. customer revenue has increased, revenues are expected to decrease as a result of a downturn in the semiconductor markets. American semiconductor businesses claim that doing business with Chinese organizations like SMIC increases their profitability and enables them to make technological investments. They assert that they do not constitute a threat to national security since they do not supply SMIC with cutting-edge technology or rely on it for innovative ideas. These assumptions have served as the foundation for U.S. authorities' China technology policy, which has remained narrowly focused on protecting cutting-edge chips while mostly ignoring SMIC's older chips. However, some contend that this strategy is problematic since SMIC's less sophisticated semiconductors have many military applications and help the firm support the development of advanced processors. According to semiconductor analysis company Tech Insights, SMIC was forced to employ subpar equipment in the instance of the cutting-edge chip used by Huawei because of export limitations. Countries attempting to limit China's access to essential industrial technology face a geopolitical dilemma as a result of this predicament, which might eventually lead to even more stringent restrictions. In conclusion, a discussion on how to strike a balance between defending national interests and keeping business ties with China has been prompted by SMIC's presence in the U.S. semiconductor sector and its possible national security implications. Concerns regarding the efficacy of current limitations have increased in light of Huawei's recent use of semiconductors produced by SMIC.